Rwanda has inaugurated a state-of-the-art robotics laboratory worth 100 million Rwandan francs aimed at advancing knowledge in robotics technology. We have more of this report. A study conducted last year indicated that if Rwanda invests 77 million US dollars over five years, the country could gain 500 million US dollars, equivalent to 6% of its gross domestic product. Establishing this advanced laboratory launched publicly in Kigani marks a step forward that goal. Students at the school where it's located are looking forward to it, enhancing their knowledge. There's so many fancy and expensive machines, some of which we haven't even started using, but these two that we have already started using are going to help us in the future to understand how we can make something useful, just like even if you like own a 3D printer on your own, you can make something even in your home if you want to, and the laser cutter is very precise and can make decorations and many other things. The lab uh, laboratory we got is a really, really, really good investment because now all my colleagues and me, myself, now we have a broad uh, system to continue making our, uh, making our ima um, imaginations to reality. It can help students um, in creativity. It can help you in creativity, problem solving, and so much more. Because if we're gonna, if we have not yet learned all of the other um, mat uh, computers and all of that. So if we use these ones, it's gonna be helping you to know how the other ones work a little bit more. Regarding the technology skills gap, only 34% of university graduates in Rwanda are women, while just 20% of tech entrepreneurs are female. Jean Tisenye, the head of New Generation Academy, knows that the lab aims to bridge the gap in robotics technology. Uh, the technology was the sole subject to be taught at uh, an advanced age. So we thought to start this with the young ones from the lower classes as much as we can. So we thought to close this gap. That's why government of Rwanda, uh, in partnership with GIZ, they invested in this lab to help these students, to help teachers, not only from New Generation Academy, but from also uh, neighboring schools, to have this facility and uh, close the, the, the gap I, I mentioned. The Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of ICT and Innovation, Yves Iradukunda, states that investments in infrastructure promoting technology will help the country reach its long-term vision. The difference with this lab uh, uh, we've, we've set up here is that it has equipment that can train the students here, but also has equipment that can help produce um, tools that can assem be, uh, help assemble uh, new tools to be used. For instance, they will be able to produce pieces that can go into other robotics kits, which makes it possible for other schools to have access to robotics program. So the lab here will not only teach, but also design and produce both material, uh, but also curriculum that can be embedded in, in our national uh, curriculum. Uh, the competence-based curriculum. So that's what's, what's really different here. We didn't just deliver the tools uh, to use, but also uh, to produce the, the parts uh, that can be assembled into other tools. Technology is expected to drive Rwanda towards its targets of becoming a middle-income country by 2035 and a high-income country by 2050.